Hello folks and uh, welcome back um, to the Tesla project where we have some serious um, Elon components here uh, for you to see today and we're going to be hacking and open sourcing this stuff. So we have here both a rear and a front drive unit uh, from a 2019 uh, Model 3 uh, with I believe something like 20,000 kilometers total um, travel on it. Uh, it was originally I believe uh, purchased in February of 2019 so just coming up on a year old and from the same car we have the contents of the entire battery casing so we have the battery modules all four of them uh, we have this kind of a unit here that contains the PCS and the high voltage controller and all the other goodies um, that we will need to basically reconnect this battery up and start looking at communicating with the BMS. Uh, these BMS boards are just amazing even to look at. Um, just absolutely fantastic, uh, just visually even, <laughs> uh, to see what's going on there. Um, obviously, this is my first look at all this stuff. I've only um, I've only seen uh, this being looked at on the likes of EVTV and so forth. I've never uh, seen any of it in person. Um, so we will be looking at the battery. Um, as you know, we've already done quite a lot of work on the PCS, but we've got to get. Uh, the PCS that we have working in the E46 Touring that we're building here. So this is a good opportunity for me to sniff some more of the CAN me messages and understand better how all of this operates here. Uh, in terms of the drive units, um, we've got the two drive units, uh, we've got the the HV and the low voltage cable harnesses for them and the drive shaft cups. Uh, my first reaction to seeing both of these drive units in person was really how much smaller that they are uh, to any of the Model S, Model X stuff uh, that I've had my hands on. Um, so we will be going into a lot of detail, uh, re reverse engineering, um, the inverter, and basically getting these guys working with our open inverter system. Um, so this is, as I say, the rear, and this one here is the front. Uh, drive unit from that vehicle. Um, it looks to be that the main difference is just that the, it's got a smaller length on the rotor. Um, obviously, only received these now today, so I don't really, haven't really had any time to investigate, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's, if there's a lot of similarities uh, with the inverters. Um, one thing I did do was I popped the drive shaft cups into the two mo into the motors and just tried spinning them ma ma manually. This one, the front drive unit, has no cogging at all that I can detect. Uh, the rear drive unit, there is a tiny bit. It's most prominent when you're trying to break the motor loose, and there's a l very very 
tiny perceivable amount of cogging in that motor then. Uh, both of them feature, from what I can tell, I'm just looking at the wiring diagrams too, they've got spin-on cartridge oil filters, um, electric oil pump, and looks like oil to water heat exchangers uh, here as well. But as I say, we'll be getting into quite a bit of detail with our uh, with our operations here on these motors um, in the next few weeks. Uh, we'll be getting started. Won't be immediate, because I have a hell of a lot of projects going on. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, this is definitely gonna be fun, folks. So what we'll be doing, uh, just to give you a very brief idea of how we're gonna attack this, uh, what we're gonna do, First of all, uh, will be to remove the inverters. Uh, we'll connect up something like a Prius inverter then and start looking um, to see if we can get the motor spinning uh, with a external inverter just so we can start to characterize how the motor responds and works and characterize the resolver and stuff like that. Now once we get them both spinning uh, happily with an external inverter, uh, then we will crack into the built-in inverters so that we can modify those guys uh, to do the bidding of the Johannes brain. So, this is it guys. It's finally here. It's real. I can touch it. We've got uh, pretty much all the fun stuff out of a 2019 dual motor model 3 so that's going to be it just for our little intro i uh, hope you've enjoyed it i hope you'll stay with us for uh, what's probably going to be one of the most fun hacking and reverse engineering uh, series that i'll have done to date as always Everything will be shared freely um, uh, in an open source manner. Uh, so that's it. Um, let me know what you think and uh, we will see you probably in the next video. I'll be probably driving the Bexas and stuff like that. We've got a few intermediate projects that we got to look at before we can tear into the fun stuff. So I'll leave you guys there if the camera will stay on my face uh, don't forget to dislike unshare unsubscribe um, take a look in the links in the description for patreon and pay and paypal uh, i have a suspicion i'll have quite a few pcbs to make for this stuff so if you want to financially support any of my particular form of craziness it will be much appreciated um, also, there'll be a link in there for the Open Inverter Forum. Uh, we'll be sharing all kinds of info on this stuff. And, um, yeah, that's about it, folks. So, until then, happy Model 3 drive unit hacking and battery and PCS and high-voltage control system. <laughs>